This month of Ramadan, you know, the attack and discrimination against Muslims in Ghana is too much. This is the only month, this is the sacred month, this is the noble month. Ah, Muslim for a fasting. Ah, wow, who say Wesley Girls School? What happened? Listen to this audio first before we can continue. We will organize campaign against MPP and look for any party that is prepared to allow the Christian majority to have our way. It is a Methodist church. They said no room for fasting. It's as simple as that. Because the children need to have the well the, the, the peace of mind and the strength to study. They can develop ulcers. And the church has, has made the decision that at that tender age, they don't want them to bring this thing there. We Christians also fast. We have the length period, which is 40 days. The Muslims have the Ramadan, it's 30 days. It's not that we also don't fast. We fast. But in our schools, we don't permit that at that tender age. And if Muslims want to come there, they must obey the rules of the church. You are now imposing the minority view and opinion upon us, Mr. Honorable Minister. We will not tolerate this. We will not tolerate this. I'm telling you, we are prepared to campaign against the government of the MPP. I Methodist Church. Uh, I think, sir, you these people don't even follow Jesus Christ. You don't know who is Jesus Christ. Yeah, Muslim for no. We believe in Jesus and we love Jesus. That is why we obey the Jesus teaching. Pastor Usubempa, anytime our Udinya come from our Ghana, 
if you want to raise your name, attention to the social media, now I start this out no more. Now, mom, saw some way out. Okay, I say the vice or what and what. If that person became a president, it will affect Christianity. I don't think so. And let me tell you something, Pastor Usubampa. Put this video on your gallery or anywhere. Save this video. Save this video. This is not a prophecy. This is nothing. I am not a prophet to prophesy anything. But I am telling you, I am telling you very soon in Ghana, we will have a president who is a Muslim, either from the NDC or the MPP. Just put this video aside. We will have, inshallah, a president to become a Muslim who is a Muslim who is going to lead the nation of Ghana without no discrimination, no hate or religion, to put Muslims and Christians all together as the way the Muslims and Christians are always living together. The way, as I say, Christian for Ebimu and Yomuina, because what is happening you now, not all the Christians in Ghana are happy about what is going on. The way ah, the Christians, some of them, are acting or discriminating against the Muslim, you know, God will show you his way. God will show you his mercy and his wonder very soon. Very soon. What are you scared of? What are, are you scared of a Muslim to become a president? Okay, if that is what you are scared of, then prepare. There is going to be a president who is going to be a Muslim, either from the NDC or the MPP. Put this video in your gallery. And Pastor also remember, remember how the Muslims protected you. Remember how the Muslims provided for you. Remember how the Muslims did great things for you when you are in Kumasi, Kantudu, Alaba, Ashanti region, Gindimbola. You know what I'm talking about. Come to the, uh, go to your church. Tell your congregation, if I am lying, Say, no work Kumasi, Alaba, can't do. Zango, Alaba, can't do. Yen, ne, 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 agro, ewo, gindimbola, sami bwa di ya, kan wo vidu omino obi ya un se meme bwa. Tata omino, the Christian community were even beating you by the Muslims protected you, provided for you, give you a shelter, enjoy your life at gindimbola. Ohana wo di agro, enti, this is the end of what we did for you. This is the end. What we did for you. Ka be pie ewo social media ne kase. Satan muna na wo alaba. Ewo komase ashante riji kan tu du manchia. Ewo gindimbola no. Na mo sinu foye oboni. Na yin oboni. O pia nwa waye oboni da. O kura unim. So this is the end of good result that we did for you. Pastor Usu Mempa. Remember say. Your political party that you are following, either the MPP or say we are NDC, I don't know. They are not going to be in power forever. Put this in your mind. And the second thing, you are a leader of a church. As a leader of a church, you are representing people in your church. Not all your people in that congregation in your church are MPP. Not all of them are NDC either. There may be an NPP there, and there also may be an NDC there. So don't always attack what? A, what? Don't always attack the other political party you don't like. In that case, you are giving a hate towards people around you. And when your power get off or on your political party get away, then the people on other political party will what? Will also attack you. So this is an advice for you. If you take it, it is up to you. You don't have to take it. But this is an advice from you, for you, from your own Zongo brother, that you use to enjoy your life 
at alaba can to do gindimbola now we need appear mo fio gidam sarkin busa fio then wa wa gindimbola wa for many many years you enjoy your life no muslims attack you up there when you are in the gindimbola and so this is the end result of insults also bampa you need to appreciate what the muslims did for you you need to appreciate the islam you need to appreciate us the, the only thing I'm, I'm, I'm telling you is, it is not a compulsory for a Muslim to be a Christian. It is, it is not a compulsory for a Christian to be a Muslim. Even here you did say, La ikraha fi din. There is no force in religion. And the baby is so young, you can say, our Quran, lakum dinukum waliya din. To you, you are religion, and to my, my religion. Muslims and Christians are living in peace in Ghana. Muslims and Christians are enjoying the peaceful way that our great great grandfathers did for what did for us back in Ghana. But there are some people who has a head towards their heart against the Muslims. Anytime I Uba who say in Takwabias you Ghana, anytime I Uba who say BBS you Ghana between the Muslims and the Christians, the first people who brought it are the Christians. Even if you don't show respect, show respect to the, our national, national chief imam. Look at how the, this Christian community, this Christian leader, this peace council, always go to the chief imam, take pictures, enjoy with the chief imam. So you are, all in, you are all, uh, only doing this because of social media. Look at the chief imam because to show you his mercy, to show you his love, to show you how solidarity interferes the Muslims between the Christian, he even went to church. Twice, the chief imam went to church to show you that he loves you, these guys. He went to church. Even when he went to church, look at how the Muslims were insulting and attacking him for him going to church. By this old man, were able to go to church to attend your churches in order for him to let you know that Muslims and the Christians, we are all in one body. Ghana live in peace. Also, Bempa, Ghana, your place, Ujo, Usha, other country. This is what brought a lot of issue. Look at Nigeria. Look at the other country where there is a lot of problem, war, and all this. Muslims and Christians, Ghana, we don't need that. Ghana, I have some GFA. Ghana, you're not an animal, a chronic area there. You enjoy your life. Look at the president of Ghana. Who are his bodyguards? Muslims. Where does he live? In Nima, the closer to the Zango. Look at the Asantehini himself. Yanana Osai to King Solomon. Where does he live? Around the Zango Muslims. You yourself, also Bempa, where did you enjoy your life? In the Zango, Kumasi, Alaba, Kantudu, Manshia, Gindimbola. If you know, if you think the Muslims are bad, will you, uh, the president of Ghana, will he allow the Muslims to bodyguard him? Go to his house in Nima, the resident. Look at the police officers. Who are they? Most of them are Muslims. Go to the Flagstaff house. Who are the national security protecting the president? Who are the, his bodyguard protecting him whatever he, wherever you go? Muslims. Show respect to the, even the vice president of Ghana. Mr. Usubempa, this is not an attack for you. Many were in Takwa for the back in the days, almost about two years. By Sano Man Eba Chief Imam issue in the minu yeah. Sano Mawe Emunya. We want to enjoy the peace in Ghana. The we any other Christian country, that guy now say we are majority, we are this and that now. They are picking people putting people into a what? Radication. Which is not good. Which is not good. I hope there are a lot of Christians here who don't even abide by that. We all have a Christian friends. We all enjoy with the Christians. Eh? Also, we all went to Christian schools. We have Christian friends each and every day. You know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to What are you scared of? What are you scared of? Did the Muslims even complain by us always having a president as a Christian? We don't complain. You, these people, complain, complain. It's too much. It's too much. Oh, you remember? Slow down. And we are now on the sano. And yet, to was you, you will not live in this world forever. You are going back to your maker, God.
and you are going to do an accountability of your life. Also, Empa, slow down. Oh, you are raise you up among other pastors. But that doesn't mean that you are wiser than the other pastors. It's only God who raises you. So when God raises you up, show respect. Show respect and what? Be patient in your life. Life is too short, baby. Life is too short, baby. You may not live in this world forever. You may not be in stronger position forever. Hey, Ousubempa. Hey, Ousubempa. I'm advising you. I am advising you always. Look at what happened to you when you insulted the chief imam at your church. Did you see what the Zongo people did? We didn't, we didn't like what they did either. We didn't like that. And we don't want no that problem to happen either. Oh, Shubempa, I'm advising you. The national security, Nana Okufaado, the vice president, the who and who advised this man. He is bringing a chaos to Ghana. They are bringing some chaos to Ghana. We enjoy the peace and we want to enjoy peace. And Chousu Abempa, this is an advice. Stay away from Muslims. This is not an attack to the vice president. This is an attack directly to the Muslims. And what the, the bishops or the leaders of the Wesley College did, Wesley Girls School did, they are not attacking Muslims, but rather they are attacking Islam. They are not attacking Muslims, but rather they are attacking Islam. There is a two things. There is a difference between Muslim uh, and Islam. A Muslim can do a lot of things which the Islam did not allow him to do. So, Ousu Bempa and the rest, look at in Ghana, we have so many pastors. Not all of them do this. Respect yourself. Enjoy yourself. Go to your church. Not all the time you have to do prophecy. Not all the time. Ousu Bempa, this is a message. A humble message from a brother to you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'uzu bi kalimati lahi ta'amati min sharri ma khalak. A'uzu bi kalimati lahi ta'ama min kulli shaytanin wa ama wa min kulli aini lama. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammadin wa sallim. She say ya wa fasting time. Don't provoke the Muslims. We are going to the end of the fasting. I am advising my Zongo youth stay away from the insult on social media. Don't insult Ousu Bempa back. Don't insult the Christian leader uh, council back. Just leave them for the, leave, leave them with God. Use what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tell us to do. In the, this month of Ramadan, there is a certain month in Islam. We don't, we don't, we don't fight. We don't insult. We don't talk. The Muharram, Muharram, the first 10 days of Muharram, first 10 days of Zul uh, Ijah, last 10 days of Ramadan, and all even the, the 30 days of Ramadan, this is the time that the Islam Muslims are not allowed to insult, to do anything. Even not at that time. Even after all this month, Muslim, a real Muslim is not supposed to insult or attack people. But a real Muslim will advise and tell people what they're supposed to know or what they're supposed to understand about Islam. Ousu Bampa, please, my Zongo and the Muslims youth in Ghana, don't insult him back. Don't destroy your fasting. Just let them do whatever they do. But insha Allah, God is with us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala muhammadu wa ala alihi wa sallam. The peace dawa media.